body editing imprint we can imprint various objects onto the surface of a 3d solid things such as arcs circles 2d line, 2d polylines 3d polylines etc and we're going to go up to the solid editing panel and we're going to go to imprint you'll say select a 3d surface a 3d solid or surface i'll pick on the 3d uh, solid and now it's a select an object imprint. I'm going to come along and I'm going to print, uh, pick on, let's say, the circle here. And it says delete the source object. Eh, I can say yes or no. I'll, leave, I'll say no and leave it behind. And then it says select another thing to imprint. And I can pick on this object. And I can go right along and I can pick on this object and I'll say no as well. And when I'm done, and enter. Now these things are embedded into the surface of the of the model. Now I can come over to push pull, and I can select on um, this object, and I can pull it up, for example. And I can push on this one, and I can pull the object up and down. And uh, let me hit escape. So I can do push pull, making sure I'm picking the object and I can push pull those objects out of there right and so essentially I can do a push pull and grab it onto those objects and I could I could go through too as well now A second trick we can do, and I'm going to go back and look at my top here, is I can take a 2D polyline and I can mimic some text and I can imprint that into an object. And so uh, I'm going to go first up to the imprint. So all I did was take a polyline, 2D polyline, and I made some text. And then I'm going to go up to imprint. I'm going to pick on the 3D surface and says select an object to imprint. I'm going to grab onto this K. And do you want to delete the source object? This time I'll say yes. And uh, now it says, okay, do you want to grab this one? Sure. Do you want to delete source object? This time I'll say yes. And then I'll do one more. And this time do you want to say yes. And I'll hit enter and now that object's in there. Those three objects are in there. Now I'm going to come do a push-pull. I can pick on that object and I can actually come down and do a multiple. And I'm going to pick on this object and on this object. I get, I get all three objects now. I hit enter and I specify extrusion height. I could go in for a negative for an engraving or I could extrude it and I'll just say like quarter inch and now you end up with an embossed area on that and so when you put that into your 3d printer you end up then with lettering on your object okay so this is all one object I can go to properties and I can change the color. I'll change it to, to a bluish color, right? Or I can change it to a red. And you can see then that I can change these. Change that object. Let's change the color of that object so you can see these real well. All right. pick on this one right here. Let's get it from red to a blue. And we're going to have that little problem there. Uh, because this is now extruded in the object. This is all one object. Okay, so 
you will get this acting as one piece but it's a great way to extrude or engrave objects into our piece and then throw it into our 3D printer and have some sort of embossing look.